Hi everybody, Jim here at Team Aquatics. You pardon my voice, I've been fighting a really bad cold. It's, I guess, the price you pay for having a four-year-old in preschool. Um, but that being said, this is the first uh, of hopefully uh, many um, in a series that I'm going to be doing that is a uh, species profile. So it's going to be like a, uh, you know, not a weekly thing, but something that I hope to do uh, more frequently and profile um, some of the fish that I keep and maybe it'll help uh, you know get some interest uh, in other fish keepers in these these types of fish. So this week's uh, profile is going to be the uh, Rotkeel Severum or the Red-Headed Severum uh, as it's commonly named in the trade. It is a, uh, a beautiful um, species of Severum, um, the hero species of, uh, of cichlids that uh, hail from the Amazon River Basin and tributaries. Um, as you guys um, may already be aware, uh, but those of you that are not, it is part of the South American cichlids. Um, these fish grow to be about eight inches in length. Uh, they're an absolute, uh, absolutely beautiful, um, naturally occurring fish. Um, the severums have been uh, bred into different strains like golden severums and things like that. Beautiful red severums. Uh, much like discus fish, they've been, uh, they were introduced to the hobby uh, years and years ago and as a result uh, they've created a lot of different color variations but the, the rock heel severum is a naturally occurring uh, version. The two largest that you're seeing in my aquarium now are a wild caught pair that I bought from um, Tangled Up in Cichlids from Jeff Rapps. Uh, you might notice some white uh, spots on their, um, their fins uh, they came in with those, uh, they have not gotten worse or changed at all. Um, I'm thinking that they just could be uh, naturally occurring, uh, it, you know, injuries that are healing or something, but uh, it does not appear to be ick uh, or anything else. Um, but these fish are beautiful, they are, uh, they're known to be among uh, the most beautiful of the Severum species. Um, they share, share a lot of the common similarities between uh, uh, that green Severums uh, have. They are cave spawners, um, they will also spawn on flat rocks if you're lucky enough to get a pair. My two larger ones are male and female pair. Um, I have three smaller ones that I've also shown in this video. There's one of them there and there's another one. Um, that are kind of grouping together. Beautiful fish. Uh, difficult to sex when they're young or when they're older. Uh, once we get a little another close-up of one of the larger fish, you'll see the male actually has um, patterned blue markings in the face, whereas the female, as you can see the male's right there, the female is solid blue in the face. Um, that is one way to tell um, male, and, male and female. Uh, males will also have a uh, sharply pointed uh, dorsal and anal fin that tend to trail a lot longer than the females. Males may also get a little bit larger than uh, females. Um, they are uh, very clean water dependent fish, uh, much like discus and, and most uh, cichlid species, so frequent water changes are a must. Um, but they are absolutely uh, a very beautiful um, fish for your aquarium, and I would definitely encourage anyone that has not owned Severums in the past to give them a try. They are very peaceful, um, they are not uh, known for being overly aggressive, and they can get along very well in a uh, cichlid community. As you can see, these fish share the same tank as uh, various species of geophagus and, uh, and other um, you know, ornamental plecos. So. I hope you enjoyed the first species profile. I look forward to doing uh, quite a few more of these in the future. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please, if you haven't already, um, subscribe and comment. And I look forward to uh, seeing what you all have to say about the Rock Hill Several.